This is Vapor, I'm out now on Nintendo Switch. This is just a quick review. I've put in a few hours of this game already. I've replayed the intro and everything a few times because you can adjust the settings to the game to your liking and that is definitely a plus for me because, you know, uh, if I'm struggling with this game then I can just ease off a bit with the uh, the levels of difficulty and that's really excellent. You can also adjust the hint system and everything else and of course make the game as hard or as diff well as less difficult as you want really. You don't want this game to cramp your style because I've played games, dungeon crawling games where it's just been totally hardcore and uh, also the levels have been um, pre-generated you know. Uh, I don't like those uh, games where the levels are generated. This is just crafted so all the levels are um, made by all oh, good old human hands. Nothing's been randomly generated or any of that rubbish because yeah that's what I don't like in these sort of games. This game is just good old school you know it's got tank controls to warn you now don't let that put you off. Tank controls are basically uh, well in this case um, it's, you, know, you use the thumbstick but uh, it would be WASD and if you move from forwards left back and right and you can use that uh, in the grid system to attack your enemies and also escape from them. I'm so slow with that control system that I just let them hit me. I pick an easier setting as well so you know I can take a few hits and still get through reasonably unscathed. Anyway I'll get back to what I think of the game after the intro. The intro is really really good so check this out it's really fantastic. You're gonna love the artwork in it. It's one of the main reasons why this game is just you know in my top 10 of dungeon crawling games ever. So check this out. Salty stench of sea and chilling gale at my back awakened me from a disturbed dream. Dream filled with familiar voices and fear for my life. The bitter sense of betrayal stemming from the dream was interrupted by a sudden sound. In the distance, a monumental metallic monster as if grown into the rocks loomed over the sky. Despite the fear this colossus exuded, I was attracted to it somehow. With nothing to lose, I went after the light. Thorough examination brought nothing. No mechanism to open the door and no way to get inside. I resigned and sat down to plunge into my thoughts. Then I realized I had no memory of anything before I found myself on the rock. But I felt a strong connection to the giant in front of me. And at that exact moment, a sound echoed through the air. Invading my body as if identifying me. Braced myself and entered. Now, onto the game. The game itself is very tactical. The movements really control the way you fight and progress in the game. The uh, puzzles are not too bad to tell the truth. The time puzzles are a bit of a pain but you have to be really good with your old fun stick because you will find yourself dying or run out of time because you're not moving quick well, enough I'm or fluid enough now, using fun sure stick. That's a now, good thing. The game to me uh, ran really well. I was quite surprised how nice it looked. Uh, I thought it would be you know, a bit muddy in areas but it, it's really nice. It's Got great atmosphere, great sound. The voiceover is pretty decent too. Yeah, there's a lot of inventory management going on, which I like. I like that sort of stuff. And of course, the puzzle solving, which is very uh, Resident Evil style, you know, pushing blocks and stuff. 
that I like. Well, that mechanic's been around for years anyway. And it's, you know, as I say, very old school. I'm going to say that a lot. The enemies in this game aren't too demanding until they get uh, about a quarter of the way into the game, and then things do liven up a bit. The puzzles aren't too bad, but it, it's just when you're opening the gates and solving, uh, you know, the clues to where all the keys are hidden and everything like that, and trying to open the levers to get to the next area, you find yourself being attacked by multiple enemies, and you have to really know the controls. You really, you know, you really do have to uh, move that thumb as quick as you can just avoid being killed and the progression and the upgrade of your suit is very important also all the collectibles checking every corner for secret areas I found a couple during my first few playthroughs and later on when I was about uh, just just under halfway through the game because I'm scratching the surface of this uh, I, I did find that the fire enemies and the, the uh, beetles that fire acid at you were uh, pretty tricky and uh, of course you got your human counterparts or well, I don't know what the hell they are, like, more like zombie clowns or something, but the, the, the enemies are just uh, varied and they offer their own set of challenges. I think um, the game in, its, in the long run is going to be just marvellous fun for you guys and I recommend it. Of course this is meant to be a quick review, they never are. It's not going to be an in-depth review, I do apologise if anyone wanted any stats or story or what it's all about, but the story is pretty interesting. And the story is really explained to you by um, pickups and hidden loot, and um, you know all the other things that you'll find scattered in this, uh, well, I call it a cyberpunk dungeon. I suppose. That's where you're going to get all your info and what you got to do and what's happening, and it's really well done. I mean, the suits that you wear when you when you pick them up, uh, there's four of them, and you just select the best one. I didn't know which one to really pick. So you just, uh, I mean, I'm saving here, and you've got to save. I do recommend save, save, and save some more, definitely, for sure. Uh, the uh, the game will kick your ass a lot, especially in the early stages, and you'll get frustrated sometimes with the thumbstick controls, the tank movement, as we call it. But don't worry, stick with it, because you will enjoy it. It took a little while for me, I'm still screwing up. But once you've picked the right rig here, like the heavy rig or the assault rig, then uh, you're good to go and you'll upgrade all this and the game is quite extensive and long you know it's a good few hours to be had here a lot of fun to, yeah a lot of fun i'd say to be had definitely because it is pretty well made and i was really impressed at how it looked how it sounded and yeah definitely one of the better games i've played this year and i gotta admit april's just got a load of really decent games and this is one of them, and I highly recommend it. So go out and get it. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you soon. This feels familiar. I don't know why, but it feels like it's a part of me. Wonder if the door lets me through now. This will come in handy. And there's writing on it. Happy anniversary, Gordon. Hmm. Who's Gordon?
Well, that was unpleasant. I need a key. Now we're talking. Hmm, a phono diary. Maybe with these I'll learn more about this place. My Marcus was chosen by the Bureau to lead the Oxford Porum, which is under construction out there on the high seas right now. We decided to accept the offer to live there and lead the research. It's a test our marriage must undergo. I stood by my loving husband through his years in the military, and I'm ready to support him now. It won't be easy. I'll be in charge of a fair amount of research in the Tower, but my family means everything to me. Thanks to this commission, the Bureau will provide us with everything for a happy life somewhere on an island of our own. One day.
this might hurt. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Studying at the Supreme Bureau University comes with prestige, sure, but now... I can start my career. Finally. As one of the proud draftsmen for the head architect of the Bureau, the Arx Vaporum is partly my doing. The tower is a testament to our technological advances. The Arx is going to bring about a historical breakthrough once we decipher the substance on the seabed, the marvelous Fumium, and we can show the world what it can do. We have such great expectations.